Okay, so this is uh, uh, the classifier. Well, it's not actually not the routine table, but the classifier. And uh, we have uh, two fields, a set of rules that are already uh, uh, sorted uh, according to the priority. And uh, we want to test the hierarchical try. So we have to uh, first build the first level of the tree, which is built according to F1. Okay, and the rules are the same as uh, uh, we have what we have seen in uh, the unidimensional case, that is uh, IP address lookup. Uh, you see that uh, uh, if you look at the F1 column here, uh, there are uh, actually. Uh, rules that uh, are sharing some uh, values, like for instance, uh, 101 star is repeated twice. <coughs> so we have to build the, the, the tree uh, without taking into account that is without duplicating uh, the nodes if they are here in the same rules. So let's start from uh, the top. Here we have uh, rule number 7, which is a uh, star, and that would go in the root. Okay, and uh, I identify the, the nodes in this way, okay? Then, uh, um, we have uh, uh, the zero star. So we have to go this way, this is a zero. <coughs> and uh, here we can write already R7. This is not actually the whole R7, but just to remember that uh, R7 has uh, the field uh, 1 identification, which is corresponds to the node A. Then here we have node B. And uh, we have uh, uh, R6 and R4 that are sharing the same value. Then on this side we have uh, uh, 0, 1. So we need another node. And uh, 0, 1 corresponds to R5. Then we can go on the other branch. On the other branch, we have uh, uh, a 1, 1. So this means that here we are going this way. Then here we will have a, a white node. Then uh, here we are going again with another one. And uh, we have to create node D. And uh, this is uh, related to rule number 2. Okay. And finally we have the 101. So this is uh, 0 and we have another white node. And then we have a 1 again. And here we place node E which is related to rule R1 and R3. Okay. So this is the first uh, uh, level of the, of the tree, of the higher hierarchy. We have now to create the second level. So now we have to go in, uh, inside the, the column of F2 and to look what happens once we have decided a specific value of F1. Okay. So, for instance, let's assume that uh, F1 uh, is uh, the star, so we are uh, in node A on the top. <coughs> we have to create a pointer here, 
and uh, this pointer will point to uh, a second level tree uh, that we have to, to build looking at the value of f1 for all the values of, of uh, f sorry the value of f2 for all the values of f1 equal to the star so in this case we have uh, just one rule and uh, in f1 we have one star so this is the root and here finally we have one star now r7 is taken down and the real black or gray node is this one where i wrote r7 okay then let's move to node b for instance and uh, we have to create another level 2 tree and if you look at uh, uh, all the values of f1 that are 0 star corresponding to b here we have uh, these r4 and r6 r4 is now looking at uh, f2 is uh, the root because uh, we have a star r6 is uh, 110 okay now let's move to uh, node c In uh, node C, we have uh, 0, 1 on uh, F1, and uh, F2 is uh, 0, 0. This was, uh, and this is R5. Okay. <coughs> now we can move to E. Here we have uh, uh, R1 and R3. The value of, of F1 is uh, uh, 101. And then if look, we look at F2, we have uh, 0 star. Now this is, just let me push this a little bit this way. Otherwise we don't have uh, enough space. Here we have uh, uh, the R1 and R3. R3 is a zero star. This is going to be R3. R1 is a zero one. Okay. Yes. R2, D is a 1, 1. Ah, because I, I wrote it wrong. This is a R4. Thank you. <coughs> no, whatever it is. Everything disappeared. Mm -hmm. This is very strange.
the beauty of uh, Windows. Okay, so now we have the D, and D is uh, <coughs> R2, R2, 1, 1, and 1 star. Okay. So this is uh, basically the data structure, hierarchical tree. And uh, we can just, uh, for instance, uh, <coughs> test uh, one <coughs> example of lookup. Let's say we can use uh, Zero, zero. And the second is This is a bucket before uh, before starting the <coughs> lookup operation. Let me first copy <coughs> the tree because uh, we need it. I don't understand what's happening today. So, uh, let's take this uh, um, example of uh, classification. Uh, we start from uh, the root, and then we can uh, go down. Here we have a zero, zero. So we go down. And uh, first we meet R7. Uh, so we, first we visit A, then we go down towards uh, B. Then we cannot go any further because we have a second zero. So we have to go to visit the value of F2. And uh, here we have 101. Okay, so we are going this way. Then we have another zero. We cannot go any further. And now we have to backtrack. So in this path we met, so far we met R4, okay, so we can write it as a temporary result. So we have to backtrack, we go back to B, <coughs> and uh, since uh, our value of F1 is uh, 0, 0, 1, we cannot go visiting C, okay. So we have to backtrack to A, and now we have to visit also in A uh, the value F2. So now that we are in A, we start going down, and uh, here we have 101. So we can go to R7, and uh, then uh, uh, we cannot go any further. Okay. So in this path, we met R7 and R4. 
What is the highest priority rule? Is R4. Okay. So this is the result of packet classification. Questions? So now we can take uh, this example and uh, uh, build uh, the uh, uh, improved version. Let me just uh, copy it once again. The improved version is uh, the set room in try. Uh, so here we have to take the uh, trees of level 2, the subtrees of level 2, and uh, copy them in order to avoid backtracking. We can start from uh, uh, the root, and uh, since uh, each in, in, if, you, you, if you take uh, uh, the first uh, tree, the first uh, level tree, the rule is that uh, each uh, children inherit the part of, of each child inherit the part of uh, uh, the trees in F2, which are connected to the ancestors, to the father. So we can start from A and uh, we can go on uh, the left side. B is a child of A. It will uh, inherit uh, the tree of A in F2. Okay, The tree of A in F2 is 1 and then there is the gray node R7. So actually we don't have to... Uh, I can use the right... We don't have to... Uh, create any new node, but we just have to make this node gray and write R7. Okay. <coughs> now C, which is uh, the child of B, also will inherit the tree of F2 of B. And in this case, we have to create this branch. So here we have R6, R7, and this node will turn gray. Okay. Then let's move on the other side, on the left, uh, right side. Uh, so the descendant of A is composed of D and E. Let's take D. Uh, D will take the same tree of A. Okay. Here we have a conflict because the tree is the same, but R7 in the is in the same position, would be the same position of R2. This is a, a conflict of uh, uh, rules. But the winning one is always the highest, uh, higher priority one. So uh, in this case, R2. Okay, so we can leave R2 as it is. <coughs> uh, now let's move to E, which is the last one. And here we have to have this branch and R7. Okay. So let's. Uh, Test the, test the same example as before. Uh, I, now I use the green. <coughs> we start from A, from uh, the root, then we have a zero. We are, I am moving, looking at uh, field F1. <coughs> we have zero, zero, so we have a zero, we cannot go any further. Uh, so we have to go down in a second level of the tree. And uh, now we move according to F2. Okay. F2 is uh, 1, 0. So we arrive at this node, 
we cannot go any further. But you can notice that in this path we found exactly the same rules as before. So without the need of any backtracking, the final rule will be R1. Uh, sorry, R4. Okay. Questions? <clears throat> so now we would like to implement the alternative uh, method. Instead of copying everything, we are just uh, using pointers. Uh, but I need to make this closer. Okay, so we have we need to have a look of uh, <coughs> to both the set pruning tree and uh, the former <coughs> original uh, hierarchical tree. <coughs> uh, so we can, uh, for instance, uh, start from uh, uh, the the right part. So you, you can notice that uh, in. Uh, uh, um, now I'm using, I can use the black. Okay. You can notice that the tree belonging to the descending from D contains uh, R2 and uh, it doesn't change even if we are uh, <coughs> using the set pruning. So we will let, leave it uh, as the, uh, the, the same also in this case. So let's move to uh, the node E. Okay. So here you see that uh, in uh, the set pruning case, from the root of the level two three of belonging to E, we we go to R seven. Using uh, if if the bit is uh, the value of the bit is one. So instead of copying R seven, we set the pointer here that points to R7 and <coughs> uh, it goes there uh, if the value is 1 ok then this would be a 0 and this would be a 1 it's the equivalent so when you are look, if you fall in, the, in this uh, node here then you are going this way <coughs> Uh, then uh, we have uh, to go to the other side. If you go to the other side, you can see that. Uh, uh, let's take node B. Here in node B we have R4, R6, and uh, we should uh, uh, also copy R7. But since uh, we have already a node here that is uh, the white node we would have no advantage to put uh, a, a pointer here which we can just make it grey and copy R7 we are not increasing memory occupation okay <clears throat> finally let's go to node C Uh, so here in node C we have uh, the root of the level 2, 3 and uh, in the root we should write R4 and we are in the same situation as before we can simply make it grey and write R4 we are not creating a new node now instead if you are going toward, 
to, to the zero value, here you should find this branch that is uh, R7, the uh, gray node, the white node, and R6. Okay. So instead of uh, copying the branch, we can create a pointer. This pointer will be followed if the value is a zero. Sorry, if the value is a one. Okay. Once you have done this, you can easily check that uh, things are uh, the same as in the uh, set pruning case. You can try with some <coughs> lookup uh, classification uh, operations and the results will be the same. Okay. So, uh, finally I would like to uh, show uh, the geometric classification. I hope that I am able to copy the table. Yes. <clears throat> so we start with uh, this table. Here you can see we have again two, um, um, two, two fields, so we, we will have a b-dimensional uh, geometric representation. And you can notice that the maximum length of the prefixes is uh, 3, so we can build the line number considering a binary uh, expression of uh, the, all the numbers in uh, 3 bits. So let me let me uh, draw this uh, thing. I hope uh, <coughs> I will not make a big mess. So we can take, for instance, four squares, and we have to write eight values. Yes. Uh, I can leave it as it is and move this one. This way. Okay. So let's write down the binary numbers 
here we have uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Yes, okay. <clears throat> then I can also create a rectangle that just to be so this is our uh, plane. Now uh, we have to map on this plane uh, the different rules. Okay. And each rule will be a rectangle in this plane. And uh, uh, so, for instance, uh, this is uh, uh, F1. The horizontal axis, vertical axis is F2. Okay. So let, let's start for, for example from uh, rule one. Rule one is uh, 101 and uh, zero one star. Okay. So zero one star <coughs> is uh, an interval that comprises uh, zero one zero and zero one one. Okay. So we have. Uh, these boundaries sorry here is not easy to see the, uh, the lines And let's start with uh, R3. R3 is uh, 0, 1, 0 and 0 star. Okay. So R3 takes uh, these values here on F1. And 0 star means that uh, I can go up to here with F2. Okay. This is more or less R3. <clears throat> On this R3, we can also identify R1. R1 is uh, 0, 1, 0 again. And uh, zero one star in, in, in F2. So it's this rectangle here. Okay. Then we have R2 is one one star in F1 and one star in F2. <coughs> R2 would be this rectangle. R5, 0, 1, and 0, 0, star, 0, 1, star, 0, 0, star. So we have to go here. These are the boundaries on X. And uh, zero zero star means that we have to go up to here.
This is our foundation. Okay? <clears throat> then we have R6 is a zero star from uh, in F1 and 110 F2. So R6 is this one. And uh, let me see if there is. Uh, oh, R2 is 11. R2 months, okay, it's already there. Uh, we have uh, R6. Uh, zero star. One, one, zero. Okay. This is R6. Then we have R4, which is a zero star and star. So it means that it takes uh, all the values of F2 and half of uh, the plane in uh, F1. R4. And finally we have R7, which is a star and one star. This is going to be R7. Okay. Now it's difficult to see it uh, here in this picture because you don't see exactly overlapping regions, but you see that there are many overlapping regions. Now we have uh, to do a transformation. I hope uh, I succeed in doing it. It's not easy graphically. We have to take all these. And uh, so let me uh, just delete all the all these numbers. And uh, I have to use now uh, to change the color. Now we have to tile this surface, so it means that I have to draw a line here. Line here. This is a little bit. Another line here, another line here. Okay, this is the horizontal tiling and then vertical tiling.
Okay. So this means that we have converted the surface into a set of non-overlapping intervals. And uh, for each of these overlapping, non-overlapping intervals, we now have to write what is the, the, uh, uh, the highest priority rule that is dominating. So let's start, for instance, from the top. Now here we have on the top interval R7, <coughs> on, on the top uh, right interval R7 and R2. R2 is a uh, higher priority than R7. So here we can write R2, R2, R2. Uh, if we go below, we have nothing, no rules. Then in this intermediate part, R7. Then here below we have R1, which is a high priority. Here we have R7. Ah oh, no, sorry, here we don't have anything. Uh, here we have R3. Then on the next column we have uh, R4 here on the top, R6, R7, uh, sorry, R6 is actually, R4 is covering all R7, so we have R4 again, and uh, here we have R4, here we have R5. Uh, no, R4 is a higher priority than R5, so we have R4 as well. Then uh, on this side we have uh, R4, R6, R4, R4. Okay. So once you have done this, now you can store all these values into a, an array. Let's call it Rij. And this array will contain, uh, it, it will be an array with uh, uh, five columns and uh, five rows. So it will contain all the elements that corresponds to what we have wrote written before. Seven, two, and so on and so forth. Okay. So when you receive a packet, and uh, the packet will have uh, a certain address with uh, a value of f1 and a value of f2, you have to take the value of f1 and identify what is the interval on uh, these. Uh, F1 hacks that contains the value of F1. Okay, the intervals that you define on the F1 hacks are the projections of the tiles on the horizontal dimension. The intervals that you define on the F2 hacks are the projections of the tiles on the vertical dimension. Okay, so here you, you will have first interval. 1, uh, let's say this is the value of uh, j, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this is the value of i, <coughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you have to take f1 and look in which interval it falls and you obtain i, take f2 and 
loop in which interval it falls, you retain j, then with, with i and j, you go into the matrix and you find the classification result. Okay. This is a way, there is also the alternative, which is to use the bitmaps. So in the bitmaps, we are just looking at each of these intervals on the x-axis and on the y-axis, and we are uh, considering what are the rules that are uh, complied in each interval. And here we have seven rules, so we need a bitmap of seven bits. Uh, let's, for example, consider the interval 0, 0, 0, okay? This is the bitmap related to F1 interval. This is the bitmap related to F2 interval. If you take 0, 0, 0, which is this value here, and uh, you go up, you will find R4, 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 R6, R4, okay? So it means that uh, you, you, have, you need the 7 bits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. If you take the value 0, 0, 0, here you will have to write uh, R4 and R6. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay? Yes. Uh, R4 has uh, more priority than R6. Yes, you're right. I did some mistake here. Uh, so this should be R4. And here is R5. No, R4 has also more priority than R5. Okay, no, it's R4. The same. Well, actually, the routing table, the classification table is not the is marked as one. <laughs> R4 is masking all the other uh, rules. Uh, but yes, you are right. Thank you. Okay, so you can actually, uh, when you are building the bitmap, uh, you have to uh, to refer to this first uh, uh, <coughs> representation uh, when you have overlapping regions. So in this case, actually, this is correct. You have uh, 
for the value 0, 0, 0, you have uh, uh, R4, uh, R6, and also R7. And if you take the value 0, 0, 0 on the other side, you have uh, uh, R4, R5, and R3. Okay. And so on, so you have uh, all the other, uh, you have to do it for the other values, you obtain the big mass. So imagine that uh, we receive the packet that is uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So in this case, we have to look at uh, uh, these uh, two bitmaps. I use this, this example because we just wrote these two bitmaps. So I have to copy the bitmap in F1. Now this was F1. And the bitmap in F2. And then we perform an end bit by, by bit, bit by uh, bitwise end operation. And what you find here is uh, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. So in this case, the result would be the first, the root corresponding to the first bit that is 1. And the first bit that is one is R4. Okay. So you have another way to solve the same problem. The difference is that here we, you have to keep a, a two vectors of the bitmaps, and in the other case you have to keep the array. Okay.